And now is the part where I talk about my fanfiction writing process. What? I don't want to say, according to all known laws of aviation. <laughs> I don't think Luigi obeys the laws of aviation. Or physics. Except the according to all known laws of aviation, there's no way that a bee should be able to fly. Huh, I don't think I've seen this idle animation before. Yeah, this is new. Not enough. Here's something funny, uh, Xavier. What? So I was um uh, one of, one of the channels I follow on YouTube um uh, does like this dumb thing where it takes like parts of a song and it puts dumb meme images over it. Yeah. Well, one of the one one of the songs they have is um, "My Sweet Passion." And one of the things they did was "My Sweet Passion." The problem is because of your, because of you and, and Lewis doing that stupid meme version, I completely forgot. Yeah, Wait, what, I, were we, <laughs> what were we talking about? Don't worry about it. Like, I could because of that, I completely a, forgot the actual lyrics. So I was like, "Oh, this is what the song's like." Oh, <laughs> oh right, talking about the meme, meme things. Speaking of songs, I need someone to help me record something. No, oh. um, <laughs> I'll, I'll get Nick. <laughs> oh, speak, speaking of Sonic, um, you guys. I didn't say Sonic, I said, I said song. No, 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 not not you. I was talking about uh, whatever Jason was talking about. Um, so, the recently uh, Sega have been posting a lot of uh, things um, with like Sonic Heroes, um, uh, like sh uh, screenshots or whatever. And a lot of people oh, are yeah, yeah. 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 Earlier. yeah, and a lot, a lot of people are assuming that that means like H Heroes Portal Remaster is coming. I don't know if I necessarily agree with that, but I, I, I would be, I'd be done with that. Uh, would you? I, like, I remember you also saying what? like, don't touch the music. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> what you guys? What would you guys yeah, feel about? Uh, what would you guys feel what? about Heroes Remaster? I would the be down for that. Remaster in this case. Well, why not? <laughs> Whatever you want it to mean, I, I don't know. I mean, Sonic Adventure DX with all the added glitches from the original Japanese version <laughs> is technically a remaster, so... Yeah. Um... I'd say sure, why not? It's been... It's, we're approaching the 20th anniversary of that game. Yeah, it's going to be 20 this year. You're old. <laughs> and... Uh, I mean, considering it was like... It, it's like the first 3D Sonic game I've played, so of course I've got nostalgia for it. It was the first... I think it was the first 3D Sonic I played as well. My mine was Adventure Two, baby. I think. I, I, I'm sorry, sorry, I'm sorry, sorry. Zoomers. Mine was Sonic Adam. Advance. <laughs> oh no! Well, no, no, that's a 2D game. Like, if we're talking Sonic, Crap. yeah. If we're talking about, if we're talking Sonic in general, uh, I don't I know. I think Sonic Two. I think it was Sonic CD for me. I I know it wasn't one of the classics for me. It was like. 3D Blast or something? <laughs> oh god, you got one of the worst ones. <laughs> I mean, I didn't... I'm waiting for somebody <laughs> to say me B machine. <laughs> okay, well... Technically, yes, but I... I know my, like, my siblings... Like, that was, like, my siblings, like, first game in general, but... I was, like, a... Babby. I was, like, a babby, so I didn't play it back then. <laughs> babby Harry. I, I I honestly don't really remember if my first exposure to Sonic was either through seeing Sonic Two on like when I was on a cruise ship as a kid or watching the Sonic cartoon I'm... first because I definitely remember watching watching the Sonic cartoon as a kid. I I'm I'm pretty sure I saw for me I'm pretty sure I saw the cartoons before I played any of the games. Um, I probably started with Adventure Sonic like the Hedgehog on Toon Disney. Yeah, I, 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 it was uh, Adventures, Adventures of Sonic, uh, like Sonic, <laughs> Sonic Underground and Sonic X. I, I didn't really watch much yeah. of uh, Sat AM because I thought it was just really like weird. <laughs> yeah, like, but Sonic Underground I, wasn't weird for you, okay? I, well, I mean, I was a kid, so I was a dumbass. But like, uh, I think it was a case of <laughs> a case of like. Um, uh, Sat AM had a lot of like characters that were like really alien to me, uh, I guess. 
Like they, they, the um, Saturday AM cast just give off a general different feeling, uh, and I, I guess I was just wasn't used to Sonic having like, uh, like for I guess for a cartoon anyway, like uh, dark storytelling or whatever. Um, like I, I, like obviously nowadays I I can acknowledge like Sonic Underground is not good, but like as a kid, um, and I. I I don't know. I, I, you don't really think about quality as much as a, when you're younger. But like, I, I, I still, I, for some reason, I enjoy. I still enjoyed Underground back then. Uh, I, I can't tell you why, but, you know, it is what it is. Excuse me. <clears throat> bah. I can remember exactly one episode. I had the hiccups. <laughs> I can exact remember exactly one episode of Adventures of Sonic the Hedgehog. Just one. Super yeah. Sonic Smash and Third Squad? No. I it was some episode where like Robotnik was impersonating like a scientist that Tails, I guess, was idolizing. I remember bits and pieces of Adventures, but I don't remember a full episode. Hey, My, uh... Uh... I think I remember there was an episode that's basically Sonic Spinball. Yeah. Uh, I heard about that one, and oddly enough, they used the Mario sound effects during that one. <laughs> I do... I think... I, I wouldn't be surprised if the green star was near that black hole. I, I can hear it. Uh, Is it out there? The, um, I think I think I had the most fun watching adventures. Uh. Nope. Uh, it, it's... <laughs> I don't think you even go to the black hole. Nope. Wait, Just it... go straight up, I guess. It would be nice if I could look. We um, say you could hear it, so maybe it's just straight up. Yeah. Uh, I do remember being uh, being obsessed with Sonic X as well, though. Like, <laughs> uh, that was a big part of my childhood. Oh, there it is. Still holding out for season four. No. Oh. <laughs> That's not gonna happen. Ah. Nope. Uh, Screw you, Xavier. <laughs> um. Yeah. Uh, what I was gonna say. Uh. Okay. Uh, In terms of um, uh, Sonic cartoons, uh, I think I remember. I don't remember if it was. Uh, I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure. Sad AM was the first one I watched. But in terms of underground, I had a DVD that had a few episodes. Yeah. <laughs> All of them were the Knuckles episodes. Oh yeah. I forget. <clears throat> I keep on forgetting Sonic Underground. Goodness gracious! I keep on forgetting Sonic Underground came out in 1999, but was still using the classic designs. Yeah, it's also. I remember being like re uh, really upset when I re when I found out that Underground got cancelled because uh, I, I I guess even back then I was like I hated like unfinished stories because <laughs> I, I when when I found out Is about that came with Naruto running, I think so. What? Yeah, huh? Naruto running. Oh yeah. Oh, the penguin. The pingu. Yeah. No, I. The the fact that like underground never like never actually has an ending just annoys me and they, they, I guess that just carries over to like adult me I guess where it's like I just yeah I just hate unfinished stories. <laughs> How dare you want narratives to actually have a resolution? Like that's disgusting. Yeah right. Um, I could have sworn that Archie tried to give like a resolution to the art. Underground, but they couldn't due to licensing. I haven't heard of that. Like maybe. Like I know Underground was pretty tonally different from the other two cartoons Deke did, but like after like the Genesis Wave or whatever they called it, the writing staff of Archie did seem willing to kind of integrate stuff from like Sonic's other non-game media. Right. I mean, they always were, but like they were willing to like. I don't know, they seem pretty open about using the stuff from the Geek cartoons pretty extensively when they could. Like, yeah. I kind of miss yeah, that about like, the comics. 
Yeah. Well, I mean, go back to the, the, yeah, go back to the, the only game that used anything from like the cartoons were Mean Mean Bean Machine and Sonic Spinball. Right. And apparently, not like the IDW comics now are apparently canon to the main series. <laughs> so take that for yeah. what you will. Like, yeah, cause like, um, cause like, don't, cause like, don't, don't some of the characters get casually name dropped in Frontiers? Yeah. Yeah, they wait, do. Wait, 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 what, like, uh, Tangle and Whisper, whatever their names are. Yeah, those two are. And like, uh, and a a Amy just casually name drops Stix, so I guess Stix is part of the main canon now. Yeah. I mean, yeah, I guess like also the fact that some of that, that, I guess there's also the fact that some of the IDW characters are in on one of the mobile games as well, but right. I don't think people consider the mobile games to be canon. Yeah, I, I don't think I don't not. think Sega knew what was canon no. for a while. No, I like the 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 uh, what is it? Azuka said. I remember Azuka saying like he wants the he's trying to make the the brand more, um, how was it? Cohesive. More cohesive, I guess. Like more, like have it more, um, of a like a general whole, I guess. Like, um, I don't know. I, jeez, um, I guess that's more fine. Unified. Yeah, more unified. That's it. Yeah, uh, I, I guess that's fine. I. I don't necessarily think everything needs to be canon, though. Like some stuff can just be a like a a uh, special like one-off thing. Kingdom yeah. Hearts. Well, <laughs> I, I, I wasn't I wasn't thinking Kingdom Hearts, but sure. Shakes fist at Tetsu and Nomura. That's what I did, actually. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I guess. I don't know. I I kind of like the uh, <laughs> every. To an extent, I do, I do kind of like that everything in Kingdom Hearts is like is canon because no matter what comes out, you know it's gonna have some impact on the story, and I kind of like that. Uh, I'm not. It was all Frank. I'm, I'm not, I'm not a fan of uh, how some of the biggest stories are like stuck to mobile phones, but you know that's another, yeah, issue. That, that's another that's issue. That's what we have YouTube for. Hell yeah. Because I. Like, was it? Like, Union Cross, Dark Road, and all that other stuff. The, 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 the stories in those games are legitimately some, some of the best in the franchise, but they're stuck on the frickin' phone. <laughs> uh. No, Murai does not discriminate. <laughs> you just follow his example. Yeah. Also, um, I, I have no idea where the green stars are in this level. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, I wouldn't. I honestly, I honestly wouldn't be surprised if for Kingdom Hearts Four they acknowledge Sora's adventures in Smash. Oh God. Okay, I think, I think that like Sora, in, like Smash in general has always been like, kind of just its own canon. Yeah. If even know. that, like, I don't think it really should be, like, <laughs> outside of like, a, a joke in like Kid Icarus or whatever. I don't think Smash should be considered canon in any of these franchises. Bayonetta 3 says otherwise. It does? Wait, it does? Like, what's his name? Rodan sent Bayonetta a letter. That's Bayonetta 2! Some... Oh, wait, what? Uh, well, excuse me. Yeah, that's in Bayonetta 2, not 3. I don't- okay, I, I play 2, but I don't remember this, please. I- Switch I- I, 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 I kinda wanna know this. What? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, cause I'm pretty sure it was something like Rodan sent Bayonetta a letter was like mentioning something- or it says like mentioning something about a fight club. <laughs> which is implied, which is implied to be Smash. <laughs> <laughs> that okay. That, that this is probably like one of the only times I'm going to be able to bring up God of War on a playthrough. But um, that is kind of funny that because I f I think it might be Ragnarok. I'm not sure. But they um, oh I know what you're talking about. Yeah. Yeah. yeah they they they, they uh, subtly reference uh, PlayStation All Stars. It's like oh well uh, um. Who's its face? Like says, oh, to asks uh, Kratos about a tournament he's he was in. It's like I can t I was part in a lot of contests, and then he brings up oh the the one where you were fighting like a fat princess and like uh, other characters. I can't remember what else he said, but uh, uh, yeah, like robots. <laughs> and so I was kind of hoping he mentioned a flaming clown. Yeah, it's like <laughs> that is really funny. Like I, I never would have expected, uh, like a. Uh, 
a modern Sony game to like reference All Stars. <laughs> yeah, right. Mm. Wait, what level were we on? Uh, B level. Um, yeah, I wasn't B. even paying attention. I was just focused on the conversation. No, I, I, I think, really? mo I think, I think most of us have like zoned out, like in, in terms of like the actual game. <laughs> At least we're talking. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, no, no. One day I do want to play the God of War series. I, I, I don't. I, have, I, have, I, have, I think I, I think I do own twenty. Uh, no, I think it was a twenty sixteen one. Twenty eighteen. Twenty. Uh, yeah, I own, I own reboot, but I'm like. Uh, I, I just call it. I just call it Dad or Boy. <laughs> but what about the simple boy of Dad? <laughs> it's just it's just e easier for me to distinguish it because I'm not I, I don't want to say God of War 2018 or God of God of War reboot every time. You may as well just cut him. Sand Seth for Pete's sake. Sony would probably disagree, but it's it's God of War 4. The other games are still in continuity. Pretty much, yeah. <clears throat> Like how the fifth Scream movie is just called Scream, but it's not a reboot. It's just, it's just a distant sequel. Yeah, and then there's like Mortal Kombat that has like a bunch of like weird names. Don't you know get, do I'm not get me started on that, that one. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh, you know, I, I, I think my sister oh, gave. No, even better because it's based Mortal Kombat. Mortal Kombat Nine is more is is called Mortal Kombat. <laughs> Yeah, no, I know. And then the new one, and Mortal Kombat 12, is Mortal Kombat, Mortal Kombat 1. Yeah. Uh, yeah, no, I think my sister gave me, like, da Dad of Boy. <laughs> um, but, like, and I kind of want to play the originals first. Well, do you have the originals? No. <laughs> well, the PS3 should have a collect collection, I think, of the PS2 and PSP games, so. Right. Yeah, I. Yeah, the. I, I was never I wasn't really sure like what I check something for you. uh what is like the best way to play them I don't it is it, like is the PS3 like the collection the I don't know I, what what games are available on the PS4 and five oh gosh you're gonna make me do work uh. Mm. <clears throat> God of War three as a remaster right. Ah, that's on PS4. Right. But that's probably not what you're looking for. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I, I know there's a bunch of like uh, spin-offs, quote unquote, as well. Yeah, I know that. We'll just I, get I, I, the... I do know for... Sorry, you go first. Like... Oh yeah. You might as well just get the God of War collection and the Origins collection on PS3. Okay, what is the what do they both have? Actually wait. There's some I I know this ugh, for the love of it. There is a special there we go, God of War Saga oh. has the biggest amount of games, I think. Okay. That's on PS3. It's <clears throat> excuse me. So on PS3 has the three numbered games and then like Chains of Olympus and Ghosts of Sparta from the PlayStation Portable. Those are like okay. prequels to the original game, I think. Right. Is that like all the oh, like classic uh, God of War games? All the classic yep. God of War games up until 2010. Okay. Ascension was released on the PS3 in 2013. Hmm. Ascension is the earliest game of, in the timeline, and the last one with like the Greek of the with the Greek, I guess, aesthetic. Right. Greek mythology. Right. I assume. I, I assume it's but it, it's a uh, ideal to play them in like um, uh, release order and not so much chronological order. I, I mean, I don't know if you you you, uh, you would like know that, but my brother played a demo of like God of War three, 
like over a decade ago, and that's about the extent of my experience with God of War. Mm -hmm. So, probably release order, just to contextualize some things that will show up in the prequels. Right. Well, fun fact: Young Kratos is voiced by Anthony Del Rio. So, mm. uh, nice. Yes. Russell Pitt. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, you said turtles randomly like one world ago. Oh, that's because um. They're in Fall Guys or something. Yeah, I think they're in Fall Guys. They're coming. Oh, you and Elf are going to Street Fighter. They're skins. Yeah. Nice. For fifteen dollars each. I love Fuck being you. a turtle. I don't like paying for them though. <laughs> but yeah, those uh, those um those avatar skins look good in Street Fighter Six. Like, yep. Fighting games are actually like, the fighting games I think are actually a pretty good place right now. You know, I'm yeah. still remembering yeah. that in. One of the funny things I'm still remembering is that in a Power Rangers Battle for the Grid, Ch uh, Ryu and Chun Li are DLC characters. <laughs> yeah, that's right. They and, they have their own and they had their own suits and everything. They will yep. sell those suits in Street Fighter Six for obscene amounts of money. I was about, I was about to say it has to come full circle now, where you gotta where you have the Power Rangers in Street Fighter Six. <laughs> mm -mm. Then again, I don't really know Street Fighter. Well, Street Fighter is not exactly no over Death Star characters. <laughs> Right. Uh, they're, I imagine that's why they're limited to avatars for now. Yeah. yeah right. I mean, I mean, if you want to get, I, 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 you want to oh. get, you play, I mean, if you want to get a guest star character, that's what you play Tekken for. Mm. Yeah. I mean, like Street Fighter Cross Tekken had guest characters. You know, like freaking, you know, like, the ultimate guest star character, like Negan from The Walking Dead. <laughs> yeah. Tekken <laughs> Seven, Street Fighter Cross Tekken had. Different, yes. Uh, a couple of the PlayStation was, 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 was the game seller. Geese Howard from King of yeah, Fighters. Yeah, Geese Howard. Or Fatal Fury, if we're going to be more accurate. Yeah, face, yeah, Fatal Fury. Well, because, like, because like, I think it even does, like, the Fatal Fury special, like, it stage intro. If you had, if, yeah. if, if Geese is one of the characters. Um,. What is it? Not this from Final Fantasy 15. Yuzora! Wrong Freaking, franchise, Harry. Freaking, uh, I, yeah, like, you play, you play Tekken or, like, um, uh, Soul Calibur, if you want. Like, what was it, like, Soul Calibur 6 had 2B? Uh oh. 2B, Haomaru from Samurai Showdown, Geralt from The Witcher. Oh! Which are three, man? Yeah, which our which Rick our three guy is in yeah. is in Texas. Soul That's right. Caliber. Soul Caliber, okay. actually. Yeah. That, mm. Okay. Yeah. That that actually makes way more sense. It mm. is more. It's more fitting for them being Soul Caliber. Right. I mean, wait. Did they put Hammeru in there? Yes. That's partially why oh. people were. What you were saying? <clears throat> oh my god. Oh. I don't that know. Is so I, I I don't know how that worked. Uh, we take those. I like how Luigi went up. <laughs> yeah, right? Aomaru uh, wasn't... Aomaru... Samurai guy that wasn't Mitsurugi, wasn't Soul Calibur yeah, 6. Yeah, Aomaru. Aomaru, yeah. Was that like one of the big like selling po things for it? <laughs> I mean, for the, what, the second pack of the second season of DLC, yeah, he was, I guess, the... Leave with the Bandai Namco in order to put in just to fill the, fill up with a, a shit ton of like guest stars. Yeah, right. Yeah. I don't. I mean, I mean Soul Calibur has been I, doing I, that for decades I, now. Yeah, because I know that like because I know that like the PS2, Link. Xbox, and Game <laughs> versions of Soul Calibur 2 have their own exclusive characters. Yeah, Link yeah, in yeah, the GameCube yeah, version, like, like, Heihachi yeah, in the PS2, Heihachi in the PS2 version, and um, Spawn, I think. Yeah, yeah, in the uh, Xbox yeah, version. Right. Yeah, the interesting thing about Spawn is um. Uh, uh, who was the guy who made Spawn? Todd something. Todd McFarlane. Yeah, I believe the deal was for for in exchange for um, uh, Spawn getting it getting in, um, Todd was a, was the, was allowed to design Necrid. And they never used Necrid again. Okay, let me see if my yeah, because ne yeah, Necrid is well, is exclusive to Soul Calibur too, isn't he? I'm pretty sure yep. there's one up here. 
Yep. Okay. I was thinking about the green star when we did this level. Are we just gonna do this wall and call it because we're because I'm running out of steam already? <laughs> I'm kind of going until you guys have nothing to say because I'm I don't think we're gonna do all the world fray. Nope. <laughs> um. Let's see what else is there. Oh, oh I remember. Yeah. Wait, what, 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 like Yoda wasn't Yoda in Soul Calibur six or something? Soul Calibur four. 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 Right. Uh, four. Yeah. yeah. I I, I know. Soul Calibur four had three um uh, uh, Star Wars characters. Yeah. It, it was Yoda, Yoda Star Killer, and Darth Vader. I think I think Yoda was originally like I think Yoda and Darth Vader were immediately unlocked in the um, PS in, sorry, in the Xbox and the PS3 version respectively. Right. But and Star Killer was DLC. Hmm. And but the I, other I, and I think the other character became actually I think the other original version exclusive character originally became DLC. But mm. then I'm you sure. know, but I'm pretty sure they can't buy him anymore for obvious reasons. I'm not sure if Star Killer was DLC. May have been in the base game. I, I can't remember. I don't remember. Reaver. So yeah, three Star Wars characters for the console versions, and then when Soul Calibur 4 was given like a port, the PlayStation Portable, Kratos was there in the Star Wars character's place. Oh uh, really? Uh, oh yeah, that reminds me. It wasn't I think Kratos was in wasn't Kratos in Mortal Kombat also? <laughs> yes, Mortal yes. Kombat uh, the PS3 ver uh, the PlayStation versions of uh, Mortal Kombat 9. You know, considering what you do in God of War like that checks out. Yeah. The date he is the only video game guest character in Mortal Kombat. Hmm. Yeah. Cuz yeah, oh yeah, cuz yeah, um Mortal Kombat 1 already has DLC. I think, like, um, Homelander from The Boys and Omni-Man from Invincible are confirmed to be DLC. Yes. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Homelander, Omni-Man, and Peacemaker. Yeah, and I think the other two DLC characters we're getting were- what were the other two DLC characters? In three. That one? The three oh. of the combat pack. It's Quan Chi, Ermac, and Takata. Oh, yeah, right. It was- it's weird seeing- it's weird seeing Quan, Quan Chi being DLC. Hmm. Put Ultra Instinct Shaggy in Mortal Kombat, you oh. cowards. Green Star's I, the... I already said no. I just, uh... I just, I just saw a thing on Twitter today that yeah, of, did uh, Parada, yeah. of Harada, of Harada, who was the you know the Tekken guy. He uh he, he was talking about Gordon Ramsay restaurants. <laughs> 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 so you can imagine pe what people are saying. Oh man! But like Gordon Ramsay and Tekken. <laughs> <laughs> Hilarious, but I doubt he'd want it. I, I doubt yeah. Ramsey would actually do it. Yeah, right? <laughs> it'd be funny. I do remember oh, no, that kind of reminds me of like uh, when P uh, I think it was, uh, when Smash 4 was coming out, people were li <laughs> like unironically asking Reggie if he'll be in the game, and he, he would always, yeah, yeah, and he would always respond with, That's up to Mr. Sakurai. <laughs> 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 I mean, like, I mean, um, I literally, when the Miis were announced, I literally thought, wait, are they actually doing this? Are they actually making Reggie a character? We get a fan service. While we're talking about fan service and guest star characters and all that, um, I think, um, uh, say what you star? will, say what you will about the games, but, like, I think NeverRealm Studios probably, with the, with the, uh, Mortal Kombat and Injustice games, probably has some of the stronger ones. That's all the way over yeah. there. Like, for Shang Tsung in Mortal Kombat 11, they got the original movie actor to came to play him. Oh, that's uh, nice. Okay, this they is... got that. They got um, they got the original RoboCop and uh, Rambo. Okay, is it? I I'm just gonna see if I can find Star Three. The I think I think Star Two is a bust. Yeah. Um. What, let's see. Uh. What else was there? Uh. Kevin Michael Richardson for um Spawn, which I think I think he's done that before, hasn't he? No, Kevin Michael Richardson was Spawn in Soul Calibur 2. For Mortal Kombat 11 Spawn, they just got oh, the back of the cartoon back. So yes, keep David. Right, hmm. right. Yeah, um, let's see, what else was there? Um, well, I know they obviously didn't get Arnold for, um, uh, A for Terminator. <laughs> he, was it, he provided the likeness and handpicked his, his voice double, I guess. Close enough, close enough. <laughs> Uh, that actually, like that, like that, like that, that actually, that actually reminds me of like in Lego Dimensions, where like um, one of the DLC, what one of the oh. DLC packs was Mission Impossible. 
and how like and and how it, and how it worked was that like um obviously like they, they they couldn't get Tom Cruise to do new lines, so they just so so he 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 just picked a bunch of lines that they could use instead that were ripped from the movie. No. That, that that reminds that that makes me think of like move faster in Kingdom Hearts two. Like they just he used the like, lines literally his voice lines ripped from the movie. Yeah. <laughs> They, they just got freaking um, uh, James Earl Jones lines, and that's it. <laughs> yeah. He has um, a, he yeah, has a pride like... for games before, so <clears> I was <throat> like, he would have probably done it if they asked. Yeah. It turns out, uh, uh, we're still talking guest star characters. Oh. Um, it, well, I uh, didn't know that was the... From, from, from Mortal Kombat, like, um, the Joker is a very obvious choice for, as a Mortal Kombat character. Right. Oh, yeah. And although it's not, um, uh... Not M M Mark Hamill. Yeah, no. Um, it's Richard Epcar who's been doing it for no. It's been doing. Who's been doing it for um uh, the Injustice games as well. Oh, cool. Although I think I had, although I do like um Richard Epcar's um uh, Joker. Mm. He was... Like he, he's not. He's not. He, you know what it is? Because he's not trying to be Mark Hamill. Right. Because like um, who who was it? Troy Baker in in Arkham Origins. Yeah, Troy, yeah, yeah, Troy no. Baker in Origins. I was gonna bring that up yeah, actually. Cause, yeah, because you can um, uh, you can tell that like he's just trying to do Mark, a Mark Hamill impression. Yeah, I think he, he did it. Had to. <laughs> I, 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 I do think he did it pretty well though. To be fair, I didn't say yeah. I didn't say he didn't do a bad job. No, I'm yeah, that, yeah, like, yeah. I think I respect um, Richard Epcar is taken more for being something completely for being but, something unique, like he, something more. Yeah, it's that like something I was like that's Richard Epcar's Joker. Right. Not like that. That's him trying. That's that's not. Oh, that's that's Troy Baker doing a a uh, Mark right. Hamill impression. Yeah, I get, in in the case of uh, Arkham Origins, though, I can understand. I uh, I'm more fun with it in that case, though, because like the Arkham series, like you expect the Joker to sound a specific way, so like that's fine. Uh, but like like in general, though, I do agree. Like when if a if someone else is voicing a, voicing a character. I generally prefer them to put their own spin on things. I like obviously don't make it into something that's like a different character entirely, but you know, um, I don't know, uh, you know, like mix, like put, make the character yours, I guess. Yeah. Yeah. Is there any uh, crappy? Uh, since, uh, I'm trying to think. Was there any other like big, like big names they got for like the DLC characters and all that from Mortal Kombat or uh, Justice? Do you mean actors or just characters? Uh, well, yes. Okay, well. Well, the Turtles obviously is one for Injustice too. Right. Yeah. But, but but as far as I as far as I could tell, they are like completely original actors. I think we'll just do the tree level and stop. Or the uh, uh, I can't, can't remember who they got the voice and what it was. Probably like the career VAs. Um, Mm. Or they hadn't voiced any of the trolls before. Uh, I guess on a note of Joker, yeah, Richard Epcar returning from the in, 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 in Justice Games. Yes, but also he was the Joker when they crossed over when he crossed over Mortal Kombat back in two thousand eight. So mm. oh and, uh, oh yeah. right I, oh right right. In, uh, oh yeah, that was NRS actually being consistent for once. <laughs> Cause I haven't played MK with DC in so long. <laughs> so as far as the, let, let me just list through all, go through all the guest characters like the Mortal Kombat and then Justin have had. Oh, MK um, yeah, cause there's like the um the horror movie characters as well. Yeah, MK9 oh, yeah. had, MK9 had Kratos, and then for DLC Freddy Krueger, Robert oh, England. Oh right, forgot about that. Robert England apparently provided the voice for Freddy, but he mostly just grunted in that game. So. Well, I don't. <laughs> well, I've never seen the movie, so does Freddy actually talk? Yes, he talks a lot. Oh, he okay. Never shuts up. <laughs> hmm. Um, ten, yeah, Ten had Alien, Predator. Alien, um, Predator, Jason Voorhees, Leatherface from Texas Chainsaw Massacre, and then the mobile version brought back Freddy. Oh, freaking, um, what's his name? Um, Carl, they got Carl Weathers, I think. Or yeah, wait, who, do a skin for Jax. So. Was it just his? Was it just his voice clips? He recorded new dialogue. Yeah, like that. Like, like that's pretty cool. Mm. Yeah, because that that was with uh, Predator, right? 
basically to we're for theming like Jack's got a skin that basically turned him into Carl Weathers and then Johnny got like a commando some kind of like like an Arnie costume I guess I'm gonna try something. For, Let's see if I can yeah, do that this for, that, that, was, that, that was a predator right probably Good. Hmm. because obviously Carl Weathers was in predator I'm gonna see if I can do oh, well, what, what's called a gamer move I can't do what's called a gamer move. Never mind. Oh, well, that kind of reminds me. There's a uh, line. I think um, uh, what's his name? Um, uh, fuck. Oh yeah, I think Bo Raicho actually makes a reference. If you uh, if he goes against Predator, he goes like, hey, he calls him an ugly motherfucker. <laughs> Sounds about right. Sounds like something Johnny would say though. Oh, even better. Um, Aaron Black, one of his, uh, if, he, if he does his x ray on Predator, it says Ugly Mofo. Oh. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. So that's, that's really good. It's also one of the best x rays in the game, so. Injustice Gods Among Us had only, I think I only had one guest actually, and that was Scorpion. Yeah. I, I was always, <laughs> I, 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 I was actually. Uh, like, I was always kind of interested in playing the Injustice games just because, it, like, it seemed like a much more like a toned down version of uh, Mortal Kombat. Pretty much what it is to an extent. I mean, they don't play one to one, but right. But it's like, it's it, it's de it definitely seems like, like it has a similar style at least. Similar, I guess. Um, yeah, I mean, yeah, it's got NRS's style of gameplay and their yeah. style yeah, of story they're... modes. Yeah, because yeah, like. NRS, yeah. Story modes nowadays have pretty much been like. I think fighting game story modes are pretty much like. Let's, I think at no, Number One Studios pretty much set the standard, actually, with uh, Mortal Kombat 9. Right. Oh, no, no, no. Actually, I think MK vs. DCU did it first. Hmm. Yeah, they did do it first. Um... Yeah, because like my the, the like Mortal Kombat for me, like I've I've never played them purely for the fact that like like visually, it, yeah, visually it's like that. That's my limit. I I can't h handle that. You no, know, I get that. I mean, I mean, I mean, I'm someone who just likes to admire it more than anything. I can't stand <laughs> gore, but I just, but I just, but it's still, I just like seeing how creative they can get. Yeah, it's weird though, because I, like, I'm not as bad with like gore and anime, and I think it's just a case of how realistic it looks in like Mortal Kombat. You'd probably fare better with like the earlier 3D games, because well, I'm probably like it's more abstract at the time. Like the, yeah. like, the really early stuff, I probably wouldn't... Like, the battle damage is, like, way, obviously, like, way overdone, just for the, in, in that. Yeah, like, the the old games I probably wouldn't have much of an issue with, because it's, like, old, like, graphics and whatnot. It's, like... I, it looks like, like more of that nine fatalities, and some of them are just kind of silly for the most part. Yeah. The, I don't know, like, when, when I, I don't know, when I see, like, realistic uh, human uh, anatomy, I guess, it, I just kind of... <laughs> and you should definitely stay away from from X from X and eleven. <laughs> right. Yeah. N yeah. That stuff. I, I. I. can't. I can't do that. <laughs> Wait. I need to show you. Oh, the you would. Ab you would absolutely despise one of these fatal. One of the fatal. Uh, um. Okay. Uh, I'm a uh, scrappy. I'm assuming you know all the oh, fatalities. Oh God. In Ultimate, right. Okay. Unfortunately, yes. <laughs> okay. So you know that one from Devora in eleven. Oh gosh, I think I know what you're talking about, but I probably that's probably the not even my most. I can imagine if Harry saw that, he would flip out. <laughs> and there's probably MK11 well, is nice. Oh. Would you mind, would Harry? Would you mind if I described it? No. <laughs> well, well, well I, I, I I don't mind things being described. I just don't want to see it. Okay. Well. Okay. Okay. Imagine like this. So Devora is like this bug, this bug lady. Oh, that bodes well. Oh, 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 it gets worse. <laughs> yeah, I was gonna say, like... <laughs> so, one of her fatalities in 11 is, like, after, like, after, like, make, like, injuring the opponent for quickly, she grabs them and barfs something down their throat, right? <laughs> Hang on, it gets worse. Pushes them to the ground, and they start spasming all over the place. Uh-huh. Monstrous like insect legs start coming out of the corpse. <laughs> uh and, and then it, it basically creates a new entire bu giant bug out of you. 
Yeah, no, yeah, that would probably traumatize me. Oh, yeah, feeling, like, sounds like a, a move from QB and Darkstalkers, but <laughs> some Earth. Thing is, it's also one of the best fatalities, like, ever, just because, just from, it's like, it's perfectly, it's like, perfectly in character. God. Yeah, no thank MK11 you. MK11 is an odd game in where it's like... Yeah, okay, there we go. Oh, good, you got it. MK11 is an odd game of extremes because it has some of the most horrific looking fatalities in the series, but some of them are also, like, legitimately hilarious. Yeah. Joker, Joker, Joker has. I love Joker's fatalities. <laughs> there's um, this one where he gives you a big cake, with that, with, and there's a friendship sign break comes down, but it's a but, and the cake actually has an explosive. <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. I, Wait, it gets better. And the sign actually says fatality under the balloons that say friendship, and then it, and then it sl splits you in half, and then it doesn't even bother saying fatality on screen because it uses the one from the sign. <laughs> so full, it's, so happy. It's really good. And then there's another one where Joker starts is, is singing at, as he's doing this. <laughs> he like punches a hole through your chest and you use a giant jack in the box to send your head up. <laughs> God, I. It's like, I, yep, I, that's Joker. <laughs> yeah. I like how the Lumas actually do respond to getting shot with star bits. Yeah, that is. Oh, nice. but you'll love this, you'll love this even better, Harry. Uh, in Mortal Kombat 11, they brought back friendships. Oh yeah. I think I remember the trip seeing the trailer for that. Yeah, um, Joker has one of the funnier ones. He's about to just shoot the opponent, but then uh, there's a there's a spark of a distance. A batarang comes in, hits him at the back of the head. <laughs> it's like, hey, come on, bats. <laughs> <laughs> nice. And he pulls out some balloons. Sorry, but he's very clearly pissed about this because he keeps looking over to where Batman was with <laughs> everything. <laughs> Okay, that's <laughs> okay, that's pretty good. Yeah, Batman never shows up on screen for that, but he's it's implied. He's, he's, he's just like he's just like no, play die. I, like, I like to think that Joker's on parole right now. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's funny. I think it's um, fu I think it's funnier that you don't see Batman on screen. All right. What was I gonna say? Okay, come on, bats. <laughs> I just show you the endings of Mortal Kombat Four because those are hilarious. <laughs> All right. Well, uh, all right. Do it. Uh, uh, the thing goes like over the edge in like Sonya's one. Yeah, I'll have to show them all one day. What was the character's name? Who was Jarek. it? Jarek. Oh, right, Jarek. <laughs> yeah, it'd be really funny if you touch this and you just immediately die. Yeah. No, it's 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 it, it, it's not existing. You just clip through it. Yeah. Um. Well, we managed to bullshit our way for one bit. Yeah, I was, I was, I was waiting for you, for you, you guys to be done. Do you, is that, do, is that what you have? Do you, do no, I got nothing else to talk about. I'm not... Go to bed, Harry. Blue. I'll just say yeah. that Harry would find the friendship that leads really funny. That yeah. looks so wrong. Oh my gosh. Like Rambo's, yeah. like Rambo's one is like he's gearing up and he's just playing laser tag. Oh yeah, I can. <laughs> Let's do this to end it off, just for the hell of it. Are you gonna do the tongue glitch again? Yep. See, did we do it? Nope. Did he well, say uh, anything else? Uh, uh, what, what, what was another good? What was another good friendship? Noobs, noob cybots. Are you talking about the double dutch? Yes, I love that one. Mm -mm. <laughs> um, oh no, I like uh, Sub Zeros. He he has like he goes like <laughs> runs off and gets like an ice cream cart. <laughs> I guess like, the, I guess all these all these guys like have different dialogue now. Uh, what was another really funny one? Frost. <laughs> oh right, yeah, the, the the figure skating one. Um, I like Disco Liu Kang. Disco Liu Kang. They, isn't that that's a reference to his that's a that's a reference to his original friendship, isn't it? Yes. Just like Shao Kahn, Shao Kahn, uh, Shang Tsung's is also the same way. Yeah. The whole, the whole like rainbow and the grass around him. Oh wait, Raiden has a yeah. I like Raiden's friendship. Oh, Kid Thunder, yeah. That one's that. That's great. Oh, RoboCop <laughs> was a good one too. Yeah, that one was good. Yeah, I think all these guys uh, are the same. Um, let's see. Uh, who was the very, who was the last DLC character? Was it Rambo? It was Rambo, Molina, and Rain. Uh, right. 
not not the not the friendship, but one of my favorite things from Rain is the that one. Fa you know the fatality I'm I'm thinking about. Yeah, the one that's like Queen. <laughs> yeah, the one that the Bohemian Rhapsody, I think. <laughs> Where it uses the uh, other ninja characters who um, didn't make it in. Oh man! It was like Ermac, um, uh, and reptile. reptile. Yeah, like their heads there. It does like he, he's and he's there in the last slot for the Bohemian it, the Rhapsody bit. I need to show. I need to show Xavier that he'll know exactly what I'm, he'll see. He'll see it like right away. <laughs> it's so out of place, but it's hilarious. All right. Well, I yeah, think right? I, I, th I think I think we've. Uh... Uh, gone on long, long enough. Uh, next time, more bullcrap. Bye. Yeah. Yeah. While, while, while that's going on, I'd also say Johnny uh, Johnny Cage probably has some of the best fatalities in the